have to focus on this man. In a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business, Naples. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Monopoly starting 11. Stanislav Lobotka plays alongside Piotr Zielinski in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And now they get the ball rolling. Good looking sequence. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the keeper has possession of it. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Well, Milan were rewarded the penalty and he only went and pulled out the Penenka on us. A fan favourite. It's now 1-0 with only three minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And he read it well defensively. And it all went swimmingly for Napoli in the last match against Fiorentina. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Yes, their 2-0 victory was fairly comfortable in the end. They certainly controlled most of the possession. Today, I'm expecting them to repeat that performance by having the majority of the ball and creating good chances. Let's hope we have some really good attack in football. Can they forge ahead? And it's come off the keeper. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And there's the delivery. Well, still an issue here. Couldn't keep it. Well, you do get excellent value as a regular here at the San Paolo when you consider Napoli's home form, Stuart. Well, they've been brilliant at home and the fans have certainly played their part. They really do create a wonderful atmosphere inside this stadium. Well, he's given it away. Marco D'Alessandro making excellent progress with the ball at his feet but nothing comes of it Elmas now with Lobotka and he's won the ball 
The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Mattia Valotti. Options in the centre. And a throw in forthcoming. Lobotka. Slipshod passing. Simeone. Oh, good play, this. Well, everyone makes mistakes. It's about how you bounce back from them. And attempting the through ball. Really good diving save. Corner kick played in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Juan Jesus. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Elmas. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Torino. They've scored the opener here with 29 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Surely! And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Barberis. Churia. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Lobotka. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Barberis. Favilli. Pereira. something to worry about here and inches away didn't miss by very much at all well there you have it Napoli have controlled most of the possession but in terms of creating chances they've been well below their normal standards unless that changes quickly it's going to be a really frustrating day for them right I'm hearing changing circumstances in the Udinese game Alex Scott what has happened the defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 41 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Excellent defending. Favilli. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Able to skip past his man. Forced into the penalty area. Well, not cleared away completely. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. 
Stefano Sensi. Andrea Favilli. Churia. Can they get in behind them? Losing possession a bit easily. Lobotka. Elmas has it. Mario Rui. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Stanislav Lobotka. Zielinski. Well, no luck keeping possession. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Right, time for an update from the Udinese game where something has occurred. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yes, it's another goal for Hellas Verona. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. It's now 2-1 with 54 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. And played in. Cleared away. Mario Rui. And he was in the right place to intercept. Can they forge ahead? And the keeper will happily collect that one. Now we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. This one, I think, might pique your curiosity. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Space and time for the cross. Good-looking cross. Still not clear. And a promising-looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Stanislav Lobotka. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight, and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon, and then we might get some entertainment. Barberis. An incisive pass. Can he put it away? Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Stanislav Lobotka. Kim. Onto Lobotka. Given away by Napoli. Just hearing something important has happened in the Udinese game. Alex Scott can give us more information. Yes, it's another goal for Hellas Verona. It's now 3-1 with 71 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Not a great pass. Stanislav Lobotka. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Oh, big opportunity! And there it is! The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Mario Rui. 
Elmas has it. Stanislav Lobotka. Elmas. Now Napoli in a position of menace. Routine, really. And a change to the scoreline in the Empoli game. Alex Scott has the information. It's another goal for Inter. They're ahead by three now with 80 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Elmas. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Barberis. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. And let's give credit to the defending. Elmas. Stanislav Lobotka. Ozim Hen. Making progress. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Caldirola. D'Alessandro. Mattia Valotti. Oh, they might be onto something. Oh, should have done so much better from there. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Well, he's given us away. Good looking move, this. And they've won the. And there goes the final whistle. It is official a win for Napoli. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, it was another good home win, but that was tight. And they were certainly put under pressure. However, they just keep finding a way to win games, even when not quite at their best. Today was a good example of that.